With the grid editor in Superior Drummer 3, it's possible to create realistic MIDI sequences using only your mouse and a few of the specialized MIDI editing tools. Here I have eight bars where I've manually added the kick and snare with the Add Note tool. And now I want to add an eighth note hi-hat pattern to finish the groove. I know I want the hats to be played with an eighth note pattern, so the first step will be to select eighth notes from the Quantize menu. Then, when I drag out the notes with the pencil tool, they'll be drawn in as eighth notes. Here's how it sounds at this point with all equal velocities at 127. With a few quick changes, we can turn this into a very convincing performance. First, I'll select all of the hi-hat notes and then use the custom selection menu to choose only the quarter notes. Then I'll invert the selection so that the offbeat quarter notes are selected, and then drag these notes to the tight tip hi-hat articulation. Finally, I'll slightly lower the velocity. Here's how it sounds now. It already has more feel and dynamics, but we're not done yet. I'll go back to the closed edge note lane and select only the whole notes and move these to open edge 2. To go even further, I could even randomize the timing if I didn't want the hats to be perfectly aligned to the grid. I'll do this very slightly by collapsing the note lane, selecting all of the notes, and adding a small amount of the randomization in the quantize section. Just for reference, here's where we started. And here's where the groove ended up with just a few simple tweaks. This was just one example of the many time-saving tools available in Superior Drummer 3. Thanks for watching and good luck with your music.